Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and today I'll show you 12 SharePoint web parts that every modern intranet should have. Some of these web parts are part of Origami Intranet Toolkit. So if you don't have Origami already, check out the video description below to see how you can get it. All right, so what are those 12 SharePoint web parts? Let's see. Number one, personalized full width news carousel. Using company announcements are still the most popular features on any intranet, so they are usually the first ones on the page. To make those announcements look prominent, place them in a full width section of your page. When I insert a full width section to my SharePoint page, there are not that many options with SharePoint out of the box. And the options available, like this hero web part, look pretty static, like they haven't been personalized to the employee. In contrast, when the first thing users see on the page is their name, along with the latest announcements, now that will surely grab their attention. That's what Carousel with Links does. Not only does it recognize an individual employee name, it also lets you easily adjust its height, adjust the look of the image, add or remove a call to action, and even add relevant quick links matching the company branding. The resulting news carousel really grabs attention and looks modern, similar to any modern website users are already familiar with. Number two, color-coded SharePoint calendar web part. Having a calendar with events on the home page is a table stake, and it's available with SharePoint out of the box. The problem is that when I have events for the whole month, they can easily overwhelm the page. There is no way for employees to select a date and see events for a specific week without leaving the page. Now, having those events show up neatly for the upcoming month with color-coded categories and the ability to RSVP is a game changer. The color-coded calendar web part right away shows events from my SharePoint site, so I don't need to re-enter anything. You can define colors for event categories, making it easier for employees to spot relevant events. Users can filter and search for events right on the same page, much like they are used to on airline and hotel booking sites. The ability to see who RSVP'd to come to an event can help organizers to plan for enough time space, or food. Number three, Quick Links Web Part. Everyone needs access to Quick Links to launch applications and frequently use resources like benefits, payroll, and help desk from their intranet. There is a Quick Links Web Part available out of the box in SharePoint that you can use. It lets you pick a URL and make basic button changes like adding icons and updating button arrangement. These basics may not be enough to stay on company brand. For example, only admin can change the color of quick links, and even then, when they do that, all the other parts of SharePoint will change color. There is a lot more flexibility with origami quick links. You can change the color size and the color of the quick links to give them unique style and make sure the text isn't cut off in any way when text on the link is too long. And it's super easy to edit quick links as the customization options are available in a single edit panel. Number four, forms directory web part. Every intranet we build needs a one-stop shop directory for company-wide forms, templates, policies, and procedures. For that, you can use a document library available in SharePoint out of the box, like the one I have here. Even though it is very functional web part, it looks more like a file share from before the ice age. And where is the search so employees can search across this library? There is a better way to do this. Here is the finer web part I'm adding here. It's bright, it's on brand, and it's so much easier to use. Employees can search across the library or they can click on the categories. 
you can easily change the font size and colors of these folders to match your brand. And guess what? Behind the scenes, the data is stored in the same familiar document library, so I don't even need to move any files or links. Number five, people directory web part. A great intranet also helps you easily find colleagues. For that, you can use the SharePoint people directory web part. It can help you find your colleagues' emails and phone numbers in alphabetical order like a phone book. This works great when you have a small team, but when you have multiple departments and office locations, this is no longer enough. And if you have several dozen system accounts showing up in your people directory, that just makes things confusing for employees. The people directory web part I'm adding here goes beyond basics. It automatically connects to my active directory and pulls employee images, departments, office locations, and other attributes. If I have a specific person I want to find, I can quickly find them by their name or a variety of other attributes set in their profile. As an administrator, you can control which attributes to show if you need to apply filters to hide employees and system accounts and more. Number six, org chart web part. Knowing who reports to whom can help employees understand the organization better and come to the right person with the right questions. As organizations grow, leaders bring in new managers to the team and they want the team to know who those managers are and where they belong in the organization. The org chart is a popular tool for that. I can use the out of the box org chart web part by setting the username of the person at the head of the organization. Let's click on this employee and see who their direct reports are. Now, I may want to go back and explore the rest of the org tree. Unfortunately, with this org chart, if I want to go back, I have to reload this page. That's not what most users will expect. With the origami org chart web part, you can freely move around the organizational chart, drill down to user profile, and the whole chart follows the company brand colors. Administrators can even selectively hide people from the org chart. So they're still in Active Directory, but just not showing here. This can be useful if you don't want to show the contractors and system accounts in your org tree. Number seven, birthdays and anniversaries web bar. Celebrating employee milestones and anniversaries can help you bring your team together. Many organizations ask us about this functionality since there is no out-of-the-box web part for this. So with Origami Anniversaries and Milestones web part, you can track all sorts of celebratory feats. Let's add this web part and see how it works. The first time I add this web part to the page, I'll click Create Anniversaries and the web part will create a SharePoint list where anniversaries will be stored in. Usually, our customers add new hires names as they join the company, and the web part will track their anniversary date each year and month automatically. Some companies choose to add birthdays and other milestones. This web bar can be used on department sites, so there is a lot of flexibility in the way you can use it. Number eight, Social Corner web part. Social Corner can bring a social media touch to an intranet. You can set it up so anyone from your company can post announcements, welcomes, or recognitions, and employees can comment, reply, or like these posts. This can be done out of the box with Viva Engage, but many companies have told us they have a hard time managing an entirely new application with its own caveats, restrictions, and administration. Social Corner web part from Origami is an easy alternative. You can choose what to show in your cards, who can post, whether likes or comments are allowed. You can moderate and even set alerts and workflows to archive or moderate the content.
all of the posts are stored right in SharePoint. So it's easy to manage them all in one spot. Number nine, video carousel web part. Videos with town hall recordings and leadership announcements is a pretty common thing on the internet. Out of the box, you can save a video to Microsoft Stream and embed it on a page. Here is what the stream of videos can look like on the page. Nowadays, videos are often used for training and many of those resources sit elsewhere. I can't easily create a training feed with inside and outside resources unless I buy an expensive training platform. Easy alternative is to use this video carousel web part. This video feed brings together videos from various sources, inside and outside, and it's super easy to edit. You can change video titles and descriptions and quickly bring in any videos to the page by inserting their URL. Once published, this can be watched right from the page, making the whole page more interactive. Number 10, KPIs web part. Dashboards and KPIs are a common fixture on the internet. SharePoint allows you to embed a Power BI report or an iframe that shows data from other sources. Seeing live data you can drill into can be a powerful tool for decision makers. But for an average employee, it's a bit too detailed for what they need to know. It's also slow to load on a page and requires extra authentication. Many employees don't drill down for details, but they would be interested in seeing overall company or department performance, kind of like a stock ticker or an airport departure board. For that, this KPI web part is a simple and elegant solution. To update stats for my page, I just need to click add and change my values and colors right in the edit mode. Click save and here I have a dashboard with my company colors and goals. There's a lot of flexibility and I can connect this web part to our SharePoint list and grab the data from other systems automatically. Number 11, FAQ section web part. When a company is growing or changing and new people are joining every week, you might be asked the same question several times. Hopefully you're giving the same answer. But why worry about the answer? Give your mailbox a break. You can simply create a set of FAQs and direct employees to an FAQ. SharePoint out of the box lets you do that with collapsing sections and the text web part. Here is an example of how it looks like. But it's even simpler and sleeker looking with origami FAQ web part. The first web part is a modern FAQ section you would normally see on a company website. And the second one is a collapsing FAQ section with custom color blocks. This web parts make it easy to add or remove FAQ questions and change the colors of the look and feel in line with the company branding. Number 12, process timeline web part. Procurement, HR and finance teams rely heavily on the process. The most common is an onboarding process. Help your employees understand what's involved and what the steps are by breaking down a long company policy into a small number of digestible steps. Out of the box, there isn't a web part for that. You'd have to create an image which can take a lot of time and the graphic is not interactive. With the process timeline web part, I can create a timeline linking to resources, even interactive forms or documents for each step if it applies. I can easily add or delete steps and of course match my brandy colors. The resulting timeline is modern and interactive. So there you have it, 12 SharePoint web parts for a powerful company intranet. If you like what you've seen, check out other videos on this channel to learn how you can put together these web parts into tension-grabbing SharePoint pages. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.